800,000 of mosques spread out across Indonesia. Many of them are rich in historical background. In fact, there are mosques that are very old but still can stand strong today and still being used as a place of worship for the Muslims. Here are interesting facts of several historical mosques in Jakarta, Indonesia. Let's start the journey from Jami and Nawir Mosque. Jami and Nawir Mosque is located in Pekojan area, an Arab village in West Jakarta. Jami and Nawir is one of the oldest mosques in the capital city, which was built in 1760. The old structure was built on a 500 square meter land. It was then expanded in the 19th century, completing its construction in the early 20th century. And now it lies on a 2,000 square meter land. And now it features 33 pillars, which symbolize the 33 repetitions in the reading of God's glorification, consisting of tasbih, takbir, and tahmid. Muslims are encouraged to read the phrases after prayer and throughout the day. Pilar-pilar ini adalah sebagai salah satu uh, lambang ataupun uh, model ya, model saat itu yang dikatakan mode Eropa, yaitu menjulang tinggi dengan bentuk yang memang uh, seperti yang kita lihat pada saat ini. Nah, inilah salah satu daripada ciri khas yang dikatakan bangunan masjid ini ada uh, bernuansa Eropanya. Another iconic feature of Jami An Nawir Mosque is the pulpit. Some believe it was gifted by Kalimantan's Pontianak Sultanate. Meanwhile, many others agree it was a gift from Java Surakarta Sultanate as it is rich in Javanese ornaments. One can actually enjoy the perfect combination of local and European architectural features inside the mosque. At the west side of the mosque, there is a tomb of a noble woman known as Baba Kecil from Hadramut, Yemen. She is believed to have donated a plot of her property for the mosque expansion. Still around Pekojan village, there lies a two-story mosque called Langgar Tinggi. The mosque is located in the bank of Anke River, a once strategic trading route during the Dutch colonial era. Built in 1829, the mosque is rather small in size and it is only used for prayer and reading Quran, thus the name Langar. Langar Tinggi Mosque has a tilt-up building design consisting of prayer room in the second floor and washrooms in the first floor. The mosque used to provide shelter for those fleeing the Dutch colonies. After talking about old mosques in Pekojan, the Arabic village, let's move to a mosque which was designed by a Chinese Muslim architect. This is Al Anwar Mosque or also known as Anke Mosque. Many believe that it was built by a Chinese Muslim named Tan Nyo Oi in 1716 and was designed by a Chinese Muslim trader, Sheikh Leong Tan. Rich in philosophy, many parts of the mosque illustrate acculturation and Islamic teachings. 
From a distance, one can see the unique roof which has the touch of Chinese architecture. The five steps in front of a door symbolize the five pillars of Islam. The main door of the mosque is a blend of Balinese Hinduism and Javanese culture. Meanwhile, the number of window bars in each side of a mosque varies, consisting of 9, 10, and 20 bars. The nine bars are associated with the nine Muslim saints of Wali Songo. The four pillars in the mosque symbolize the four companions of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. The pulpit, on the other hand, has an Arabic design. The mosque has a staircase leading to the top floor that was used as a minaret and to oversee the Anke village area. It is however no longer functional and left where it was as a historical evidence. In the west side of the mosque, we can find the tomb of the founder Tan Yeo Oi and architect Sheikh Leong Tan. The next one is the historical mosque of Al Makmur. Located in Cikini, Jakarta, Al Makmur Mosque was built by Indonesian maestro Raden Saleh in the late 19th century. The mosque was relocated after its previous land was sold to Emma Foundation. With green and white as the dominant colors of a structure, the two story mosque can accommodate up to 500 worshippers. The mosque combines Batavian and Chinese architectural design which can be seen from a number of wooden carvings, curved roof, and wall patterns. Al Makmur Mosque has been named by Jakarta government as one of the cultural heritage buildings. So those are the stories of several historical mosques in Jakarta. And of course, in general, this historical mosque cannot be separated from its cultural acculturation in terms of historical building or Islamic heritage. Zaira Al-Jufri and Nico Arianto for C Today.